What's up guys? My name is Frank Salas. I go by the name The Talented Mr. Salas and in this video we are doing a live construction of a desktop friendly, mobile friendly, and tablet friendly website. I'm going to show you the steps to get your website up and running. This is a very hands-on tutorial and we're going to jump from here. Uh, I am also live streaming this so if you hear me engaging with people it's just because I like talking with people a little bit. So the first thing you want to do whenever you build up your website is you want to click on these settings buttons right here. Then come to the platform settings. So we go to the gear icons on the left, we click on platform settings right here, and you want to make sure that all of these say yes. And the reason for that is because if they say no, then they're all going to look like the desktop version, but I don't want them to look like the desktop version. If I'm spending money on Facebook ads, Twitter ads, LinkedIn ads, I want people to get the most optimal experience on my web pages so they can sign up on my list, buy my courses, buy my programs, buy my products, buy my services, uh, fill out my applications to work with me as a consultant. This is super important, so make sure you do this first, and these should all say yes. If they don't say yes, then all of your websites, all of your pages will look like your, your uh, desktop, and that might not be the best thing for you, especially if you're spending your resources, your money on paid advertisements. So without further ado, just want to check that on there. Once you do that one time, it'll be good. Uh, this little plus sign right here is where you're going to do most of your damage, and I really like that. So check this out. They got a bunch of stuff up here. They got different pop-ups. If you like those little pop-ups that says, hey, give me your email, or hey, we have this sale, or check out our latest product, whatever you're trying to promote, you can pop up with people. I generally don't use the pop-ups on my stuff. You can if you want. I just kind of feel they're a little antiquated. They're kind of a little 2012, 2013, and ain't nobody got time for that. And I, I kind of personally get a little offended when people pop up on my business like that. So if you're picking up what I'm putting down, let me know if you have any questions on what a pop-up is. Let me know. I'd love to explain that for you. You've got your text, your banners, and all this stuff. That's all fine and dandy. First and foremost, if someone comes to my website, you know I'm all about that branding, and I'm going to put a picture up there. So you select an image just like I did right here. By the way, I'm using one finger to do this. This finger right here. Actually, I'm using two fingers because I got to right click here. So I right click and I hit change image. And it's thinking, it's thinking. And I've got all these different images. So I've got images of me, a little photo shoot of your boy. I got all the media that I've been on. I got certifications that I have, different sponsors that I work with, the different kind of badges that I put on my stuff. And then I've got, you know, just other pictures up here. Once you upload a picture into your online portfolio, it stays on there for you to be able to use forever. So the first thing I recommend for you to do is to put your brand up there somewhere wherever mine is there it's right over here and select that so once I confirm that I want you to note the top gray bar and the bottom gray bar so on the top gray bar that's my header on the bottom gray bar that's my footer and this is going to be important later if you have multiple pages what I suggest though is just to have one page with one call to action to get started because you don't want to give people too much information you don't want to sit there and write all those pages and and do all this this is completely 100% drag and drop but it does take a lot of time just because it's easy doesn't mean that it's like overnight and instant you, st you still have to put the work in you've got to test it you got to make sure it looks good on mobile desktop all those things so um, some people like to start with mobile first I think it's a great strategy I personally like to start with desktop first because I kind of like to over deliver and give a little too much as you can tell from this presentation already so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize this you know shrink it up and I'm gonna drag this over to the header I want you to see something as I'm dragging this over the body this whole thing turns blue and what that does is it tells the tablet version and the mobile version that hey this is all the same piece of, of uh, code or the same piece. It's all together. It's all grouped together. And if I take it up here to the top, the top part or the header turns yellow. If I took it, put it down to the bottom, the footer turns yellow as well. So what this does, and you'll see here in just a bit, look at that. It gave you an alert that says changing the root of the element will also change that item on other platforms, which means this. Hey buddy, you just took that image that was in the body and you put it to the header. I don't know if you know this, but when you go to the tablet version and the mobile version, that picture will also be moved from the body to the header. 
and you're like, oh, okay, cool. I got it. And it's just letting you know. It's not a bad thing. It's just letting you know. And this is great to know. So I was like, all right, cool. I got it. Thanks for letting me know. And we come over here. You know, it's on the side. We come over here. It's on the side as well. So everything is because we, our first step, if you, if you did not do the first step, which is clicking on the gears and then making it, uh, changing the platform settings, it wouldn't be like, it, it would be, this would already be right here. But I now have the option and flexibility to make my own website however I so choose. So we're going to stick to the desktop right now. Um, by the way, it takes me about an average of, a, of one to four hours to make a full website. Uh, and that's desktop, mobile, and tablet. So just want to break that down with you guys so you guys can have some realistic expectations of how to allot your time. Um, I mean, that's, and that's super fast, especially if you have zero coding experience like myself. If you have zero talent when it comes to making websites, then this is definitely your platform. So there you go. I put my header up there. Um, I do recommend you put your logo at the very top because it's good branding. Uh, for those of you guys who are investing in a personal brand, that's especially important to you. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to take the next step right here, which is a banner. So this is a cool thing. You can have a basic banner right here like I'm going to do, or you can have different types. And if you look over here on the, on the left, you've got classic, you've got the parallax effect. For those of you guys who don't know what the parallax effect is, oh, I love it. It's just super gorgeous. And I click on this, and that's the, uh, that's the body. I can drag this down to make some more space for things later, or I can just say, you know what, that's my website. My website's this header. And then this, this uh, part right here, but in order to get the parallax effect, I'm going to give it some space right here. And I'm going to show you exactly what a parallax effect is. So I'm going to hit preview on the top right. I'm now previewing my website. I just got there on the preview. And when I scroll down, do you see how the image kind of like rolls with it a little bit? Maybe if it was bigger, you'd be able to tell me, let me, let me move this, make this bigger. All right. So I'm making this bigger. And I'm going to edit it because actually I'm going to go to appearance. So I right click and I scroll down all the way to the top. So they have banners that are already available that are just, you know, standard and templates. And when you add a new, a new element or when you add a new, uh, yeah, when you add a new element, this is the one that I just added. And you can see that because it says banner underscore custom 22. I'm going to click on this little gear right in here. Once I click on this gear, I can click on images and I could change this. I'm gonna, so I am going to change this. I'm going to click on upload right here and I'm going to upload this new video. So I'm going to put me driving this nice little Mustang. For those of you guys who don't know, I love me some Mustangs. So I got the Mustang in there and I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Definitely good for the brand. And I can click on the settings right here and we've got the parallax effect. I can slow the speed down. I like to slow it down. I can do original size. I can do full screen or I can do auto adjust. I'm gonna go ahead and do auto adjust. You can do repeat, no repeat, if you're on the full screen, or on the original size, I'm sorry. Actually, I guess I can't do this on this one. So I'm gonna go with auto adjust. You can set the position to be here, top right. There's just a bunch of different tools. I recommend you play with this a whole bunch, but just for all examples and purposes, you can go into the different kinds of colors, shadows, I'm not gonna go into that right now, but there we go. Got my picture up there. We're rocking, we're rolling. So I'm going to drag this down just a little bit more. I'm going to make this bigger so you can kind of see more of it. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to click on the little plus. I'm going to add some text. I'm going to click on this right here. I'm just using one finger. And I'm going to say, Frank is an awesome funnel builder. I'm going to hit control A to highlight all that. I'm going to change the color to, I don't know, let's say green. And I'm going to change the background color to white. Boom. And I'm saying, you know what? That's super small. I can't even read that. You know what? That white background is not doing it for me. Let me do purple. Awesome. I got the purple on there. Love purple. I'm going to make this bigger to what size we can go to 100 let's just go to 99 i got 99 problems but a funnel ain't one and you can resize it it automatically resizes see this is the kind of stuff you couldn't do in click funnels in click funnels you had to click on the element and you had to click on the tab then you had to download this section and you had to do this and you had to do that and it was for me as a creative kind of a bitch sorry for the language mama all right so now instead of going back here and clicking on plus 
text. I can just come here. I can two fingers. I'm on the Mac, by the way. I can hit this little copy button right here. I can duplicate this and boom, I'm ready to go. So I can say, all right, boom, go to bit.ly forward slash TMS funnels. That's TMS for talented Mr. Salas. And you are able to uh, get this free, free trial on doing this yourself. So do you see how it scrolls up just like that? That's the parallax effect right there. So you can take that on, you can put it off, you can do whatever you like. All right, so let me go ahead and drag this down a little bit more and say, you know what, that was cool. But you know what's even cooler is I go back to the plus sign, if I go back, back to the banners, there's a bunch of things already, there's a bunch of templates already pre-made for you. So let's say I wanna put my con uh, contact lead right off the bat, let's say I wanna pick up contacts. I just click this, it's thinking, it's thinking, it loads it up, boom. I can now pick up emails in a heartbeat. Look at that, all I gotta just come in here, click on this, two fingers on the Mac, uh, right click, hit change image, and then let's go ahead and say, where's my logo at? Where that logo at, baby boy? Right there. Boom, there's my logo. Oh, that's not my email. My email is not email example Gmail. My email is frank at talented Mr. Salas dot ph. Man, that's too long. Oh my God. If this was ClickFunnels, I'd have to play around with this and change the font and add the section and move the row and change this element. And all I got to do with Builder All is just resize it like that, baby. Look at that. Bada bing. That's not my phone number. I might put my phone number out. My phone number is 512 555. Five, 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 five. That's not my number. You can call it. I'm not going to answer. So there it is. You'd be like, you know what? This is an ugly phone. I don't even want that. Let me change this image. And Builder All already has icons built in. What? Say what? I don't know if they have a phone. Let's see if they have a phone. Let's find out. I'm going to type in phone. No, they don't have a phone. All right. So let's not do that. Let's see if they have some balloons. Yeah, let me just try this right there. Boom. There we go. I changed it automatically. Super quick, I can resize it, I can drag it, I can move it, I can say, you know what, this is kind of in the way, let me move this up here. Oh, this is awesome. And I'd say, if you haven't already, go to bit.ly forward slash TMS funnels to get this free trial and start doing this for your business right now. Uh, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, go ahead and share this out. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm gonna check my phone right now for some questions uh, so, you can, so I can see uh, if there's anything that I can help you out with. Uh, so far, this is something that has helped me out in my business. I made a lot of money. Uh, so um, Kim McCarter says, I've been playing in Builder All just for my own knowledge. You gotta know it all. <laughs> I see you, Kim. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Danny Fee says, this reminds him of Wix. Uh, it's way better than Wix. Way, way, way better than Wix, guys. Insanely better than Wix. Can you guys still see my screen? Am I still? Am I still coming in live? If I'm still coming in live, let me know because my phone, my screen is just blank right now on this other side. Yeah, it looks like we're, we should be good. So I don't know, I'm gonna check my other page. Yeah, this is weird. It's, oh, no, never mind, it just came back. It just came back, awesome, awesome. So I'm going through this, I'm building this more and more. Uh, all right, perfect, you know what? Bump that, let's just get rid of this whole thing completely. So I'm gonna delete this and say, you know what, I don't like that. I'm gonna come back to the plus button, I'm gonna go back to the banner, and I can scroll down and say, all right, the parallax is cool, the contact form is awesome, there's different types of contact forms that you guys can see there. I wanna put my prices up there, because let's get paid, baby. I like this one, this one's a good one. You can have a, a basic, a standard, and a premium. Again, I just use one finger, and I just clicked it. So one finger, and I clicked it. Boom, 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 there it goes. All right, let me shut all this down. Uh, by the way, as we're doing this, I want to show you something really cool. Um, if you're ever in Builder All ever and you're doing something, you can click on this little button right here, this little video, and that will take you through a tutorial that'll walk you through the whole process. So I could say, okay, I got the basic, I got the extender. That's how Spanish people say standard. So I can say my basic is $20. My standard, 
is fitted dollars. My premium is a hundred dollars. All right, so we got the hundred dollars, and then right here, write your write your amazing benefit. You can build your soft your website super fast. Oh no, it's too much. It looks ugly. I can just click this, and I can just resize it like that. Boom. I can say, you know what, I've got it there, but you know what, it's not going to fit. Let me change the font size. So I can click on this, hit Control A to select it all. I can change the font. I can change the color. I can make it bold. I can underline it. Uh, I can do a bunch of things on there, but right now I want to change the size. So let's put it to 12. That's too small. Let's do uh, 18. 18 is too big. So let's do 16. Boom. 16 is perfect, but it's kind of hard to read. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me do uh, B for bold and underline. Perfect. Perfect. You see this little icon right here? You see this little icon right here? Let me go ahead and click on this little icon. I'm going to hit change image. And here I can come back and do any one of these images. Go to the icon collection and I can change this to an arrow. Let me click this arrow and I just hit confirm and boom. Instead of that little check mark, there's an arrow. Yeah. I can make it really big. I can make it really small. I can click on this change the direction it's awesome and you know what even better I can make I can so I just did the two fingers or right click if you're on PC I haven't done this on PC so sue me uh, so I can do the uh, I can do the scroll animation so if I come down here to scroll animation anytime somebody scrolls down and they see this actually not not the scroll animation is what I want to do I want to do the animation so I can do the bounce, and you can see the preview. So it can bounce in like that, make it bounce, make it bounce. I can make it bounce in. I can make it slide in to the left. I can make it come up. I can make it fade in. I can make it fade in from the up. I can make it fade in from the right. I can make it fade in from the left. I can make it all dramatic and make it fade in from the left dramatically, boom. Or I can flip it. And all this does is cause it attention. So I want to go with the flip. And I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit the preview so we can check it out. So look, Frank is an awesome funnel builder. There's a parallax effect. And then you see on the left-hand side, it just flipped around. Super cool. Those are the kind of details that are going to get your website noticed. They're going to keep people on your website because us as human beings, we're like, ooh, 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 fire, 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 fire. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? So it's a great way for you to put yourself out there and get noticed. So you can go through that process. I'm not going to go through and edit this one by one. You pick up what I'm putting down. Let me go back to there. Okay, this buy now button, I can right click it, two fingers, and I can click on action. And this action, this is what I love about Builder Off. So with ClickFunnels, I had to go to PayPal, connect my PayPal, go to Stripe, connect my Stripe, make this button, make this button do this, test this button. Blah, blah, blah. I had to do all these steps. And with Builderall, I literally had to use two fingers, click one time, use one finger, click payment, and I can put either Stripe or PayPal. So I can put my PayPal email address right there. You can have a purchase sign. You can put the name of your product. You can put your currency that you like. And I mean, it's just, it's just money. So specify the amount to be charged. You can have a thank you page and it's literally done from one button. This is the, these kinds of uh, upgrades and these kinds of add-ons are what uh, ClickFunnels couldn't do for me. Uh, by the way, did I mention that this is a third of the price of the basic version of ClickFunnels? It's like a tenth of the price of the advanced version of ClickFunnels. And it has way more features. It's way easier to use. And it's a third and a tenth of the price. So I mean, it's just ridiculously, ridiculous value right now. Make sure you use my link to get the best price at bit.ly forward slash TMS funnels. Again, if you get lost, you can always click right here to this little video. And then you can see uh, what's available uh, in the training tutorials on that. So I'm not going to go through that right now. I'm not going to put my uh, PayPal or anything in there. I just want to go through this process. So you can uh, explore that a little bit more. Let's say you want to go ahead and uh, do some more things up here. I'm going to show you some more banners because I, I do most of my work in the banners. 
So let's show you a little bit more. So there's the, uh, you can do about us. It's already done for you. All you got to do is just like click and then edit it. That's it. You, I, you know what? Check this out. This happens to me all the time. I was like, you know what? I hate this website. So I just delete it all. They're like, are you sure? You're deleting everything. I was like, you know what? I'm freaking sure. I don't like this at all. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on uh, banner. I'm going to come over here and click on top. And I'm going to do this right here. And there we go. Check it out. I can come over here, click this, change image. I'm going to put funnel with Frank. It's one of my programs that I have that I promote. Boom, funnel with Frank actually looks horrible here. So I'm going to change that image. And I'm just going to stick with my logo. I'm going to stick with the winners, guys. Stick with the winners. All right, where is that? I'm going to click on all. There we are, right there. My talented Mr. Salas logo. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I'm going to put it right there. Now my Facebook and all of these icons, my social network bar, I can edit this. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Do whatever I want to do with that. So, yeah, definitely play around with this. Uh, let me hit edit. Position. It can be vertical. If I want to do vertical, maybe move this to the side over here. It's ridiculous. You can change the spacing, make it tighter, make it wider. I'm going to do horizontal because it had this nice little bar here. I want to show you something really cool. So right now I have my uh, finger down on the mouse. And if you notice, the blue part is even more blued out. But if I move this over here to the white part, everything else goes clear and only the white part is blued out, which means this is now automatically grouped. Builderall knows that you're moving, maneuvering around. And what they're doing is they're like, okay, this is now a group. So I can out click, I can click away from here and I can come over here and I can move this around it. And now it's the same group. And even more so, this will now transfer over to the tablet and the mobile device for your, for your website. So I thought that was a super cool touch and save, it saved me a bunch of time. Uh, it was great. So, you know, here you go. Here goes your headline. So example, how to get desired result in time period. So how to build your website in one hour. All right, and then here's, here's my uh, sub headline. And I'm gonna click on this and say, even if dot, 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 because I'm dramatic, you don't know how to program, code, or design websites. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna show you this other cool feature that I like. If you see this flag right over here, you can click on this flag. And those are actually uh, images that you can come in and select from over here. So let's say I wanna do the, uh, what I wanna do? Let me find a good one. Let me find a good one. I'm looking for maybe like a computer. Oh, the rocket ship. Everybody loves rockets. Boom, I can hit the rocket ship and boom. It's got the rocket ship right there. But you know what? That's a tiny rocket ship, man. How am I going to be on the on the interwebs with the tiny rocket ship? Hey, no problem. I builder all's got us. Look at that. You can change it, make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can change the color, whatever you want to do. Look how easy that is. That's the kind of stuff you couldn't do on on uh, ClickFunnels, Wix, Squarespace, Instapage, and that stuff. By the way, that I mentioned this is the best price option on the market. This is like a tenth of what this does. You can actually build your own apps with this. You have 10,000 emails that you can use for your autoresponder for this. I don't have the time to go into that. In this video, I do have more trainings on those kinds of platforms uh, if you're interested in those. And make sure you use my link and you'll, get able, you'll be able to have access to all of those trainings in one space right there. So that's bit.ly forward slash TMS funnels. So as we're moving along, you can come over and say, okay, what, you know what? This is a great, 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 uh, great place. So let me hit uh, this menu and I can configure this menu. And so now I can add, you know, more like, you know, uh, <clears throat> let me add a new item. So home, about us, uh, contact us. Sign up, and of course, as you saw, you can add, you can change the actions. So you have the action, you know, 
come back over here and say, go to this website, go to this page, go to this anchor, which is a part of the web page. So let's say I wanted to take it back to the very top. We could do that. If I want to take them to a different website, we could do that as well. I'm not going to go into that right now, but it's super easy, very, very organic, and uh, it's, just, it's just top notch. So, all right. We are good to go. I'm going to hit confirm. Menu must at least contain one page. Gotcha. All right, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Uh, I don't know what I did. I think I'm missing something. I'm missing something, and I don't know what that is just yet. So let me just hit cancel. So yeah, that's very, very easy to do. Or let's say, you know what? I mess it up. I can just delete it. Boom. It's gone. It's gone. If I wanted to go into that, I could probably watch the tutorial video and figure out where I'm um, you know, doing things. By the way, they update this a lot, so I do recommend that you watch this, uh, watch the YouTube videos or watch the videos that are available um, on on the actual training of the platform. So I'm gonna check the I'm gonna check the live stream to make sure that we're uh, answering any questions. I'm gonna stop the recording so I don't bore you guys for watching the recording. Just give me a half half a tip. And just go to the link uh, bit.ly forward slash TMS funnel. So uh, we're back on the recording. I'm gonna probably put this in my YouTube channel and my trainings a little bit later. I'm gonna use two fingers. I'm gonna hit text, and I'm gonna say. Sign up for Frank's Funnel Builder. And boom, there it is. Whoop, there it is. I can hit on appearance and I can change the color. There's already different preloaded ones there if you like those different colors, but I like the one that I have. So I'm going to click on the settings. I can change the font. What I want that font to be, man. Let's see. I just took a little while to load up. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let me do, I like the Futura fonts myself. Boom, Futura. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller and make it bigger. There we go. You can bold it. I was on bold. You can italicize it. All right, so you can even change the border colors, the border size. I like the shadows on here, so you click Enable Shadow. And again, when you put the shadow on there, for me, I don't know, it just looks a little bit better. And I'm kind of weird, it just like pops, so you can kind of see like that. And obviously there's different styles, different variations, um, but I like that, you know, for me. You might not like it, you might think it's ugly. I don't care, it's my website. You build your own website. Go to bit.ly forward slash TMS Funnels to get a free seven day trial and see if this is for you and your business, your business, your business. All right, you can uh, change the space and there's a bunch of other things you can do. Here, I'm not going to that right now. And if we wanna hit action, then we could send them an email. We can have the email automatically send right then and there or I can send them to a web address like www.talentedmrsalas.com. You can have them be on the same tab, the new tab. We can go to advanced options. We could just do so many different things here, guys. So I wanna just open to a new tag and send them to that web address. So let, we've done a lot of things so far. I'm gonna hit okay. And if you wanna save, you can hit save right up here. Boom, it's saving. It's saying, okay, we need something uh, as a placeholder. So I'll say uh, Frank's example funnel all right ta-da all right so I got it saved it's gonna ask me to save there we go it takes five minutes to upload no biggie I'm gonna hit the preview I hit the preview look at that Did you see how it slid in that was awesome this like this took us no no time at all to build this look I'm look at the time right now it's like 20 minutes to do this and this was me talking a lot and if I click on this I don't know if it'll click because I'm not on the live page. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll click because I'm on the live page. It might, or actually, you know, I think it takes five minutes to upload. It just told me that. So as it's thinking, let me go back to the action to test it. Go to the web address. Oh, you know, I don't think I saved it. TalentedMrSauce.com. Uh, HTTP, I think that was it. There we go. That was the problem. Hit save. La, da, 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 da. All right, and also might take five minutes to upload again, but it should be good. 
So come down here, boom, we click on this, and there we go. It took them to my website, The Talented Mr. Salas. And that's my personal website. That's where you can find out more information about me. And this site was actually made on Builderall. So I just want to show you what a finished product looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And if you notice, pro tip, I only have one call to action. I don't want them to go to the about me. I don't want to say contact us. I don't want to do anything. I'm giving them a specific call to action. If I'm bringing people to my website, I want them to advance to the next step of my process or of my funnel. A funnel is just a sales process, and that's the next sales, sales process for me. So uh, I want to show you a little bit more of the websites that I've done. Here is a uh, minister that I did a website for. So just real simple, very basic. Nothing too crazy. And let me show you, let me show what, what else I wanna show you. Yeah, let's do this one. This is from one of my master classes called Legit Facebook Likes. I did this in 20 minutes. I was actually in a hurry to make this. Super easy, super simple. This is a digital asset or a website that's creating money for me. Like I just made a sale not even an hour ago on this thing. Someone bought. It's crazy. So just super simple. They click on this, grow my Facebook page, automatically takes them to my PayPal. Boom. They pay, they get enrolled in my course automatically like this. So I've got to dress this up a little bit more, but I was in a hurry. I've got a great brand, a great warm market. They know who I am. They know what they can expect from me. And this is making sales for me right now. So I'm going to jump off this. It's a little bit late, uh, but hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, so use this code right here. Go to bit.ly forward slash TMS funnels, and you'll get a free seven day trial on this new and improved brand new tool that's going to replace all of your, it's going to replace your email. It's going to, so here, let me, let me break this down for you. It's going to replace your email campaign. It's going to replace your marketing campaigns. It's going to replace your autoresponder. It's going to replace your website builder. It's going to replace your, um, your analytics. It, you can make apps on it. You can just do so many things on there. It's just ridiculous. And it only costs 30 bucks, 30 bucks a month. When you use my code at bit.ly forward slash TMS super, I'm sorry, uh, TMS funnels. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.